Thanks for staying with us. It's now time for Mission. And Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, DK, uh, UK Aid, and the U EU. Inadequate furniture in classrooms in the Sisala West District of the Upper West Region is reducing enrollment. Though district authorities have worked to provide furniture, resources are inadequate and it is only central government they are looking up for help. Bright Nanam for reports at Fachu, one of the uh, communities, a class of 48 only has 30 of them reporting every day. In a poor environment, a cursory look shows inadequate care for these young ones. The formative age is key. Educationists will insist the right thing is done. But this is not the case. Duty bearers have shirked their responsibility. The defending situation had been very, very serious. Uh, the only time we had uh, some quality furniture was when Pelangana was operating in a district. That time they worked on metal uh, dual decks. And it's still, those, of, those they, they made, some are still available in the schools. After that, uh, the furniture that is made and given to schools are not of high quality. And for that matter, they don't last. Kids are made to endure pain. Enrollment has therefore reduced. The children won't simply come to school. For many, Classrooms are not attractive. This is simply not an exciting environment to learn. These people here are simply inconvenient. Now, this is a class of about 47, but just about 30 of them are in school today. And it's almost always the same all the time because they find the environment simply unattractive and not appealing enough to stay in school. And parents, have been affected by this too. Having been offered poor educational infrastructure for decades, they prefer their kids stay away from school. Teachers can do very little. Hmm. This situation has been giving us sleepless nights. Anytime I step foot into this classroom or any of the classrooms that you have visited, I feel like uh, I've actually come here to suffer. And to see that the dream that I have to teach these children to become who they are supposed to be is gradually dwindling. These children are supposed to start writing so that by the time they get to the upper primary and gradually to the VHS, they know how to write, they can read. But the situation is depriving them. If you look at these students, they are supposed to be close to 45. But look at the number here. Right now, as I speak, some of them are following their parents on the farm, and others are just roaming aimlessly. When you meet them and then you ask them why you're not coming to school, they have no any tangible reason to give you. District authorities are not sleeping on the job, though. They struggle daily to provide furniture. Their resources are inadequate. The education directorate says it receives some furniture from the assembly, but it is inadequate. Many of our schools are suffering from furniture deficit. Uh, it will interest you to note that some children lie on their bare stomachs to, uh, to write. And uh, when you enter the classroom, they will say class stand and you don't even know what to how to respond. The district assembly is upbeat about improving the furniture situation. Efforts have been made and the hope is to provide every school with furniture, but resources are inadequate. So far, we've been able to uh, deliver as 300, 300, 600, and then we have a pack of 200 just in front of the assembly here. So when you add all, already we are hitting about 800. And then the MP still promised to get 300 extra. The 200 that is outside the courtesy, the district assembly, we still have extra 400 that we are supposed to bring in, the contractor will bring into supplement. So that we want to, as promised, we know by the end of the year, uh, we may not be able to solve it completely, but we will have a lot of furniture that would have, would have been distributed to the basic schools, and then it will have mitigated the situation a bit. The district says it has over 8,000 furniture deficit and wants central government to come to their aid. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Golu.
And that's all for Mission Tonight. Mission is supported by Star Ghana Foundation with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU. Thanks for watching.